Hi, I'm Mark Boxer, Technical Manager uh, for Solutions and Applications Engineering for OFS, and this is what's new in my world. Um, we are seeing a tremendous amount of recognition around the country that fiber is the answer for connectivity now and into the future. And we're, we've seen just unprecedented interest in fiber um, you know, networks around the country and just the, the benefits that bandwidth brings to a, an area and specifically with a focus in rural areas. I live in a rural area. This is an old restored farmhouse and we are seeing a lot of interest in broadband even you know, in you know, very remote and rural areas. Uh, the Fiber Broadband Association is in the process of publishing some projections showing that demand for a household will exceed a gigabit per second. This demand is coming from a lot of different places. It's coming from, um, you know, the use of video, all of the different applications that we're running uh, across the network, um, and also just the look at some potential future applications, including higher resolution video, as well as uh, augmented reality and virtual reality. We're starting to see a lot of these trickle into daily life today, um, and then we expect that these types of technologies will continue to get more accepted over the decade, um, leading to a lot of you know, increase in demand for bandwidth. And fiber is really the only way to build a future-proof network. So we are also seeing a high level of interest in next-generation PON platforms, including XGS PON, NG PON 2, um, these are platforms that use different wavelengths than the networks that we've been deploying primarily for the last you know, 15 to 20 years. And these, these wavelengths are a little bit different because they are a little bit longer and they're also a little bit more bin sensitive, which means that we're also a little bit more focused on bin sensitivity and just making sure that these networks are viable for decades to come as um, you know, more of these applications and more of these protocols come online and onto the networks. If you've been using OFS Fiber for years, you know, this is actually something you've probably heard about for a long period of time and something your, your network is well prepared. But we're also seeing you know, these networks that we had projected for a while you know, really coming into fruition today. Um, so there has been lots of innovation, uh, especially over the last few years with, with Fiber. You look out and um, there have been just some really groundbreaking technologies that have been introduced. And one of those is the concept of rollable ribbon. We see rollable ribbon uh, making its way really into all parts of the network. And um, we think that's going to bring a tremendous amount of benefits to network operators, including just higher density. Um, and so once you have higher fiber density, you can put more fibers into a smaller space then that frees up a lot of um, benefits with underground networks because you can pack more fibers into a smaller duct. For aerial networks, now uh, you can go longer distances with uh, less sag or less weight on your poles. So a lot of different benefits there. And also, since it's a ribbon, then you uh, get the benefit of ribbon splicing. So we're seeing a lot of interest in you know, the concept of rollable ribbon being applied you know, throughout the network. And on top of that, we're seeing uh, a lot of interest in you know, builds to the home, builds to the MDU. And these networks they have a lot of bins, and so they require that their fibers have a lot of bend and sensitivity. And so um, we've seen a lot of builds of those kinds over the, certainly the last six months to last year, but also seeing just a lot more interest in, in that area. So um, at OFS, we, we bring a lot of different solutions. You know, one thing I would say is that uh, if you're a network operator, don't consider that you have to use this technology or this technology. Um, a lot of these are just different tools in the toolbox. And you can mix and match these various tools in the toolbox in order to make your network, you know, the, the most sustainable and viable for the for the future. And OFS can really help with that. So one of the things that we are happy to do is uh, spend some time with you looking at the choices that go into the network. So if you're interested in learning more uh, about some of the, the choices and the trade offs in your network and um, how we could potentially help help with that. Uh, please feel free to contact me or your OFS representative and we'd be happy to help. And that's what's new in my world.